Nathan was interested in one. Arts endowment that the Herb Fest supports. What's the first thing you think about when you do container gardening? Drainage. Drainage. So you know what? I had to remember to poke the holes in here. Some purists like the clay pots a lot better. In fact, I'm, I'm almost surprised that Bob stood up here with this plastic pot. Um, when you people work with herbs, they say that the clay pot is the very best because of the heat retention properties. Personally, I don't want to lug it around, okay? <laughs> so I like this kind of a thing. It can be round. It can be one of those things that goes into the deck. It's whatever you want. A good potting soil, you don't have to buy um, miracle Grow. You can if you like. Um, and as Bob said, you don't really need to fertilize them. Compost is a good thing, or the uh, like leaf compost that we have in the back. I went over to Lowe's and I looked for the least expensive um, potting soil that usually has vermiculite in it, which is a drainage kind of thing, and it has sphagnum peat moss and it has a bunch of other good stuff. Don't make a mess. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, man. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, uh, gardener is happy. All right. What am I going to aim for when I'm putting the plants in? How, where are they going to sit? Right. <laughs> and I also will be displacing yeah, a bunch of dirt because of the plants themselves. What do you think we ought to put in the center? This guy? Like the lemongrass. The lemongrass, and we got the chive. Yep. I'm just going to take those right off like that. Okay, come on, baby. All right, now, what do you do when you get it out like that? Scratch it? Tickle it. You fluff out the roots like that, then they go, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Okay, center. What do you do, and then we'll do a final tamp, but what, what should I be doing as far as fluffing dirt around those roots? Pretty, yeah. Because what happens if, that's right, what happens if there's air pockets? Well, yeah. Well, because the roots are going to go out and they're going to go, oh, oh, I can't breathe. I don't, there's nothing around me. So that's always a good thing to do to tamp around. All right, what's next? It's a mint, chocolate mint. Shall I put that in? Put them in? Good thing you brought that up. They are biodegradable, but, whoa, you don't want to plant in this. It's not like one of those Bonnie pea pots. What I do with some larger plants is I'll just take a knife and cut and split it and plant it like that so you have these two little flaps. How about huh? Italian parsley? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like this one popped right out. Look at that root system. Keep our tags. Okay, what do you think? You can, you can, you can, you can mix flowers or, or uh, annuals in there. Uh, one of the reasons for container gardening is one of the main reasons they do it is so that people that are living in apartments and stuff and don't have that aren't able to do it. The other reasons for using container gardens is when you get started with these things, you can have an abundance of herbs and you can micromanage the climate. So if you have to go outside and all you have is either all shade or all sun, with a container gardening, you can actually move the plant to where you have a morning sun and afternoon shade. That gets very important on something like chervil. You would have that situation. Any pot, when you see a clay pot, that does not have holes in the bottom, there's an issue. Uh, you always look for some type of hole, and it's just because of drainage. Now, if you were to put this thing down, 
right now and you don't have any space between there, you could still have a drainage issue. So what you want to do is, if you can, just make sure the water, once it goes in, can get out of the pot. That's important. Especially if you have a tall container, like more of a square, you can use your, a lot of your thymes. Now, your thymes are also Mediterranean herbs, so they have similar growing conditions as what you have with basil. But with your thymes, there's creeping thymes and different types of, like a regular English thyme, would, an English or French thyme is going to grow vertical. A lot of your others, and you can look at the way it's growing. This plant is already growing out, not up. This is a good container plant to have drape over the side of your container. So now you don't have competition that way with your basil, with your globe basil, whatever you have. You actually have. Now, when you get ready to eat, you just break your little piece off, cut it off. And, but the general, when you read about times, and they say put so much time into the recipe, they're generally referring to... French or English, uh, uh, mother of thyme. Those are your basic times for culinary. But you can break off into lemon times. Another general rule. If you're doing a recipe and it says add lemon juice to it to spice it up. If you have lemon thyme, if you have lemon mint, that's the time to experiment. 